Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. So, we're heading out to a very spooky space station. Ah, maybe we should uh, just erase the unreliable because this ship is awesome. And the crew is awesome. So, let's go. Mm, actually. So, we're gonna go with Neoka. Not Neoka. Ellie and Parvati. How big is the space station? Don't know. Think there's a generator somewhere? Um. Oh. I need to just walk through it. These boxes are very suspiciously placed. Like, I'm gonna have a shootout. Actually, this can be seen uh, throughout the game. The boxes are just all over the place. To allow for fun gunfights. Hunting Rifle Ultra. Wait, is that better? Actually, that I also rifle is just better than the Hunting Rifle Ultra. This is it? Let's check out the room. No, we can't. Mind your head. How you how tall you think I am? I don't think there's a way to disarm the mines, but we might try it. Let's give these little fellas a wide berth, Captain. Let's try it. Oh. Won't work. Someone's having a bath? Maybe we can chat with him. Yeah, this is barred. Seems like this is the only place we can go. Actually, other than the corridor. Seems like we need to turn on the power, if possible. If not, we just gotta play around this. Back of tobacco and ears. Maybe that's food. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. So we have two ways to go down. Should I try to pick up a mine? We have none left. It just seems unnecessarily uh, risky. Modify the generator mode normal. Yeah, generator mode maintenance, 2% output. Okay, everything is turned on. <clears throat> Critical issues. Toilet in the maintenance barracks does not flush. Replacement parts ordered 1,243 days ago. Uh, sensors indicate Alta Vitae gas is leaking from storage tanks. Alta Vitae gas is toxic to humans. Oh my god. Non-critical issues. 
Admin override, priority set to non-critical, management does not utilize the Altavite gas tank storage room. Issue 2, sensor detect that the new laboratory sent, air freshener is running low. Yeah, repair the toilet. Turn to root. Captain, I've been attempting to contact you with urgent news. However, communicational functionality was impaired due to the power outage. Urgent news? What's going on, Ada? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. So glad we finally have this opportunity. My ship is docked with 1084. There's no escape. What do you want? You've been poking your nose into restricted locations. This makes my superiors unhappy. I could peel your ship open like a can of forest. But I'm in a sporting mood. What was that? You want me to hit this big self-destruct button? Bribe. I didn't say that. How did you gain access to that system? Stop it at once. Hit random to key. Welcome to hell, Commander. Did you... Did you hit it yet? What's happening in there? I don't know who you are, but I have nothing to gain by risking my hide against a lunatic. Commander out. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be <laughs> departing into space. Nice. I've never been great at de-escalation. <laughs> Wow, that was a uh, odd way to do that, though. Wow, we can't go here. Uh, we have to double check everything now. I'll invest. Very We don't have an ID. Oh. Rest in peace, robot. Bard. Great. Oh, maybe we can. Messages. Of course, morale is low. You gave those PhDs. Thanks of nuclein scrambling gas and no warm bodies to test in it. It on. What do you think would happen? They can test on each other all they want, but no one lays a hand on my squad. I'm installing safeguards in case anyone challenges that decree. <sighs> what is this? Return to root. Security routines. Oh my god, hack. So we can turn off the robots or make the robots defend us. Step lively, Captain. The floor's got teeth. I'm not too afraid of the robots. Kimball came by asking if any of the docks uh had been around. I told her what I know. It's been quiet. Just ask Alpha. She walked off with the spring in her step. Okay, weird. Then she requisitioned uh, UD Electro Floor 3000 for my checkpoint. On a crate of concussion mines. Guess she didn't believe me. Is she preparing for war? She's acting like she knows something the rest of us don't. Seems especially uncomfortable around the docks. Okay.
Oh boy. Did he die? It was, it was close to either she or she's dead. Sorry. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, we need to be more careful. Also, that was a terrible way to have a fight. Okay. All right, you guys hide there. Oh. You guys hide there. We got destroyed so quickly. Oh, because Parvati has a shock minigun. They've been left here all alone. These scientists were testing on each other. Okay. What about this guy? Dr. James Guthrie notes subject will need extensive nuclein resequencing for any chance of viable extraction i'm sorry it ended up this james up like this james we will continue back we'll come back for you and all and fix this i swear on it oh no got to keep exploring second floor Close to it. Seems like I'm gonna need hack or lock the king. Okay. Stout skills. Uh, heck is stout skill. But let's see what we have. I have 65 hack and 92 lock lockpick, which is not bad. Unlock personal quarters. Access outbound com transcript. James, I don't really want to read too much here. Okay. So we open the door, I think. Spectrum vodka. Granny launcher two. Researcher's mask. Really? Can claws bleed? Cause bleed duration 30% chance. Yeah. What are we doing here? Grand sublight remote access to the station. How do we do this? Modify system access protocols. Insert sublight override cartridge. It's done. Yep. Now let's and now we can return to Lydia. I guess we might as well do that. So this is on Scylla. This is on Byzantium. Another Scylla. 
Another Scylla. Another Scylla. And another Let's go Byzantium. Get money before Sublight sees what a creepy dump this place is. Wait, Chartrand? We've seen that name before, back in Cascadia. Ah, let's leave. Go back! And, of course, I kind of expected this uh, station to be kind of small. Captain, what? Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. What? Alright. Yeah, let's go back to the ground baker. Return this mission. Uh, that's that's kind of good. The ground breaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Cool. Uh, same team is good. Space is choice. I'm not even sure if uh, fast traveling is an option inside the, inside the ground breaker. It's really no need for it, frankly. But we can fast travel to the Groundbreaker Promenade. Why not? Uh, actually, I can uh, check merchants. Ooh. Sixty-three is decent, but this is basically what we're using. I think this is exactly what we're using. Lie helmet. He's never selling what? Oh, that's actually a good helmet. Sixty-three. Uh, what kind of helmet are we using right now? Um. 56. You know what? I'll take those helmets. They're kind of cheap too. 63 heavy helmet. I'll take those. And uh, 63 armor is... Uh, I'm not sure about that. 67. I think, I think that's exactly elite troop armor gold. It's exactly Welcome. what you're selling. What we have. Elite Troop Armor Gold. Fine. At least he had something now. Uh, let's just put in the helmets, I guess. Slightly better for body. Um, yeah, put on. Good enough! Oh, yeah. And of course, we turned the mission. That was uh, the reason we came to the Groundbreaker. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Okay, I can't intimidate her. You also find some automax salvage awaiting new owners. The base had scientists in suspension tanks. Some might still be alive. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? A UDL gunship buzzed the station, but I convinced them to back off. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. Fuck, I'm not perceptive. I'm listening. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know.
Bad news, I take it. Maybe the worst. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. I'm guessing you have an idea. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? I can do that. Aliens. I'm talking about <laughs> aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. Come on, you pulling my leg. Aliens? Really? Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? Skip a part to where I get paid. I don't care what hallucinogens you are on. A few. If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. I'm gonna need some proofs. When you say aliens, what are we talking about here? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. What? This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. So not only aliens, but body snatching aliens. I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. That they must be really good at hiding. The, the, the little green bastards must pay. Terrific. That go-getter initiative will carry you far in sublight. <laughs> wow. How do you know I'm not an alien spy on a mission to silence you? <laughs> Fuck him, touche. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. What? Only your cells would know. What the fuck? Cross your eyes, we're coming to get you, Livia. Tobias, get my knife. The big one. That was a joke. Ha ha. We each get one. Now, back to business. Enough, tell me what needs to be done. I don't believe you, but hey. As long as I keep getting paid. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Sounds messy, but I'll take the job. What? Why does... Dr. Chartrand needs need to die. Maybe I should read more messages. I tried to read as many as I as I like. <laughs> no, I, I can't say I can, but I, I like. So some of them are kind of uh, fillers and they just don't connect to anything, but others are very interesting, like the information about uh, the, the O2 on Monarch that actually didn't come up in conversation. Ah. Where does he need to die? She's a research scientist oh, and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. And did Subli get so principled? It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. 
I, I didn't expect a sublight to go down this way. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, well done, game. The lives I passed through didn't seem that evil. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Where does uh, Shardrand fit into the, your alien conspiracy theory? We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. Should I go back An and read? An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. Murder isn't covered under my contractor employment agreement. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. What did I get for joining up? Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want? A promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. What? Like, if you just wanted me to assassinate someone, I very much doubt that you would say that they are an alien. But fuck it, I, I'll, I'll look into this. Sounds messy, but I'll take the job. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartran says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Then how am I fucking supposed to figure this shit out? <laughs> if I can't trust anything she says. Okay, let's try to do long guns. Looks like it's gonna go to 300%. And reduce uh, gun sway. And also, long gun, critical hits, ignore 1% armor. That's pretty good. Maybe do that. And perks. I don't know what perks to get. Like, none of these perks are like, oh, yeah, that would be helpful. Like, no. Someone like, oh my god, headshots deal 25% of their damage to the enemies. No, headshot kills. Explode, dealing to nearby enemies. Uh, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Two and a half meter? That's third the the range of a shotgun. Two and a half meter is nothing. So all these are like, what? I might be tempted to go with slow the world, which increases the TTD uh, meter max by 25%. So that's at least something. This few bits more was completely garbage. Uh, uh, basically does nothing. That literally does nothing. If this was retroactive, I would pick it, but it's not. So I'm not sure what to go with. Cooldown uh, on the companion ability seems to be a very popular one. Or at least a very common one. But actually, chance to reset companion ability cooldowns on each critical hit. Yeah, I mean, I can just spam reset on them. So this alone resets them all the time. And I actually don't use it all the time because I just... Okay, it's, it's good, but also... I don't care to. Some some just don't make sense, like uh, down companions, like that doesn't happen. Penetrating shots actually looks like one of the best ones. It it's not for the main character, but maybe for the companions. I can lower the armor of an enemy, so uh, my companions can kill it better. Penetrating shots is okay. And maybe slow the world. So maybe I just go with penetrating shots here. Not for me, but for the companions. Alright, let's go. Maybe we should just fast travel to the ship if that's possible. <sighs> Aliens? 
Really? Wow. Didn't expect that. Okay, uh, where are we going? Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Actually, we maybe Captain, should... I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. There you go. So... What I was kind of hoping to do is uh, try to lure them in. That would have been a, an option as well. Just not blow up my ship in space. Uh, okay. Uh, I do still have a Monarch. HR stand 84. Now that she just talked a lot of crap. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. Fuck, we're, we're gonna pop in here. Signal. This is odd. We're gonna do... What I didn't do before, is... Read some of the logs. It's not gonna take too long. What? Warning. Contents may have shifted in transit. Warning. Yeah, this is not about... Yeah, not about that. Yeah, some of them are just... Are just pointless. Oh shit. Hopefully... Uh, they don't attack me. <clears throat> so I'm more into reading if... It, it doesn't have a lot of filler. If, if the... What, what I read is always like funny or like... Uh, or, or important, then I'm more into it. But if it's just like, you know, like the filler is just kind of getting a bit too much. Like, not necessarily like total filler. Sometimes you just read, uh, like, mostly they have filler. The log is being entered by Dr. Fowl. I had to prescribe Dr. Charrand enough uh, sedatives to knock out a primal. Yesterday morning, Dr. Guthrie and I drew straws to decide which of us would be the next tech subject. Uh, he pulled the short one. No new developments. After all our sacrifices, it still feels like we are miles away from a breakthrough. Eve hasn't forgiven herself for the losses. Maybe sometime away from HRS uh, 1084 will clear her mind. The board confirmed receipt of my report and transmitted our recall notice. We are just awaiting transport. I wish you could take some time away from the project to clear our heads, but we are not even close to that point. We had to put uh, Claire on ice today. She and the others uh, drew straws. Claire lost. The change was slower this time. At first the resequence re stayed within normal parameters, but then it started, then it spread again, just like with Claire. Tomorrow I'm reaching out to my handler directly. I need some answers. I wonder how Guthrie is doing. I hear symphony music from under his floor door. We almost lost Charlie. It was a runaway, a uh, resequencing shift. Once it started, it kept going, spreading beyond the isolated tissue to a full-blown systematic infiltration. He said it was like every organ was itchy. I told him would ice him, freeze him until we could work out how to reverse that what had uh, gone wrong. Every time uh, Lore walked by me, she rubbed my shoulders and asked me to take a different re reading. They didn't need to be taken, it was just to keep my mind occupied. She's been checking on me every hour since. It just doesn't tell me too much. It has come to my attention that a culture of distrust has soared relations between HRS 1084's research staff and security personnel. Many of us have submitted requests for early dismissal. To the research staff, the importance of your works supersedes any interpersonal conflict. To our security personnel, there will be no early dismissal. You will also notice that your employment contract has no set end date. 
we can enjoy a discussion of morale and its impact on success metrics once the question of humanity's place in the Hallison colony is answered. In the meantime, get back to work. Job. Uh, go further the chimeric sciences via the targeted modification of human nuclein using strands of trained uh, from Halcyon at the fauna, aka Raptodon. So this doesn't really uh, scream aliens to me at all. Very, very shitty science, yes. Aliens, no. But I guess we're going to Scylla now. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Mm. Okay, so let's go to Scylla. It seems like a smaller planet, but so was Monarch, and not like we inc we just <laughs> explore the whole planets. Byzantium. So that's Byzantium. We can go to Byzantium on Terra 2. But let's go to Scylla. Maybe we're gonna mix it up. I don't fucking know. Is Byzantium smaller? Destination reached. Scylla. Let's drink. We gotta talk about this. Oh. This is what the other companion did. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who. But was waiting for me at the door. Felix, you wanna come with us? Hey boss. Got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? Uh, are you going somewhere with this? What was the message? That's cute, Felix. What was her name? Shock and disbelief, seeing how most of my friends are still on Earth. Actually, no, they're dead, and my friends are here. That's cute, Felix. What's her name? <laughs> you got the wrong idea, boss. It ain't like that. Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. You count the years when he was able? Joy! Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, another time, Felix. We got work to do. No, no, no. This is obviously important to you. Let's go. Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. What? He does? I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. He has a base? Alright, thank you later. So, you want to come with me and you want me to bench Ellie? Oh, you bastard. Yeah. We can't. Can't. It's fine. Felix. Uh, this. And this. And Ellie is going to use those matter much just just give me back my armor okay felix is picking up corporate military okay increase my persuasion like that's that's not good because my persuasion is already super high okay let's we can go with range damage with two companions giving me bonuses to it, it's not gonna be great. Range weapon reload speed. Do I want that? I don't know. Maybe damage to corporate military. That, that seems okay. 
Let's do that. And also, uh, he's gonna need a weapon. Already, well, already has one, but maybe a, a better weapon. Yeah, that's kind of lackluster. Ellie has a LMG. Do I have an extra LMG? Oh, come on. I guess you can use that. I definitely have an extra LMG, don't I? Did I sell those? Naoki uses one. Her body uses one. Okay, um, so Felix, you can use the LMG, I mean this one, I might as well keep that, and Sam is just uh, doing nothing, that's all fine, <clears throat> let's go. Can I reload this? Okay. And we're taking Felix and Parvati. Parvati's always coming with me. That's it. It's decided. And Sam. <laughs> Sam never leaving the ship. It doesn't seem to have much going on. Honestly, Sam's kind of looks like the psychopath follower. I'm not saying he's a psychopath, but like he's the follower that would never leave you, right? He even has a a, a perk that's that uh, reduces the negative Board had an asteroid mine penalty out here. What would happen to him? I reduced the penalty like they for killing people. In place, but gave up halfway. So how big is this place? Not big at all. What is this, Scylla? Really? Okay, maybe this is just the the space dock part. We gotta order the lift to get to the massive underground dwarven tunnels. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't know. Outlaws, huh? Let's go say hello. Why is it we find fights every place we go? What was that? Did I hear something? The fuck? Heads up! Boss. Here we go! Oh, you, got oh, you guys got him. Everyone all right? Uh, yeah, they're definitely all right. The others. Felix, are those the folks you're looking for? Nasty way to go. At least Felix has uh, a story now. Oh my god. Who's cutting off their legs? I don't mind, just, just tell me. Okay, it's a little freaky. Don't do that. This place seems low level. Looks like we're doing this. Here we go. Oh, wow, not even Another rat. Right. Is this really the way I need to go? like a lot of trouble just to leave the the landing pad <clears throat> and a big spaceship This guy lost his head. Ooh, that that's not supposed to twist that way. Why would they attack me? 
Just seems like a very bad idea. If I saw three heavily armored uh, types uh, drop off a spaceship with very fancy looking weapons, and I was a marauder, I know. A lot of ifs. I would just go the other way. Looks like some sort of habitation. Everybody, you got that, right? Let's check there. Even the machine is trash. Nothing in here. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's pick it. 124. Lock picking. Of course. Uh, I have two characters that give me that. So, using these two characters together is probably not the best idea. Well, you can do it, of course. Like, it doesn't really matter. Or maybe your uh, base value needs to be super low. It doesn't really matter. Skill bonuses, you can just ignore it. The game's not that hard at all. But you need to care about it. In some games, you need you need to have, like, a perfect party. Everyone representing, everyone just bringing their, their skills. And I think that's fun as hell, as, as well. But the thing is, with me... I can appreciate multiple, I can op uh, appreciate a wide variety of systems, and that's kind of, I think it's kind of cool. This allows for, uh, this still encourages you to bring your companions quite, quite a bit, uh, and care about their skills a lot, but you don't really need it to not lose or die. You know, you, you can, you're gonna miss out. You're gonna miss out, but you don't. It's not game over. Primal Brutes. Oh, yeah, we gotta take some of those guys. Yeah. Is this really Scylla? Is this tiny? <laughs> I guess compared to Monarch. At least I suspect that Monarch may be the biggest one. Got it. It's blind, maimed, crippled. That's what you get. What you get? This gun is awesome. Increasing the the effective range is a pretty good choice. That's the last of them. It's like an auto sniper that crits every time and ignores all the armor. Really good. I like it. Well, technically, the heavy weapons deal more DPS. But I think this is better as a gun. This is a better gun because we can really use the range. It's also more more ammo efficient, uh, which not doesn't matter too much, but it kind of matters a little bit. It just it just has range, so that's kind of cool. And some skills, it's it's kind of cool to see that some skills, uh, like look at this, like at thirty eight percent, you get one hundred percent kind of, and at uh, one hundred you get three hundred percent. So it's 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 kind of fine, you know, but some skills seem to scale a little better. Oh, actually, I'm using the wrong armor. <laughs> uh, which is the 
helmet I should be using? Does it matter? I can just use this stupid beast hat. These guys are super easy. But maybe I don't want to break my lockpick helmet. Ah, this should be good. So, maybe we can enter the house here. So, I need to go with Scylla only. Meet with Phineas's contact, that's Byzantium. Acquire science weapons on Scylla. I can't help but feel that Scylla is gonna be bigger than what it seems. Because currently it's tiny. Really? Mandibular Rearranger. Uh, this weapon was created by an unknown and possibly quite deranged scientist. Exactly how it works and why is a mystery and it has never been duplicated. Okay. So we got that. At the Scylla quest. Oh yeah, we, we have to kill more monkeys. Take Max to the Hermit on Scylla. Fuck. I should have taken Max and Felix. Uh, you know what? We'll, we're gonna come back with Max. Actually, we can transport here. Okay. Does it show? Oh yeah, we, we, we can actually hunt these monkeys where they are. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to jump as much. What's your skill at all? My time shine. <laughs> oh shit. Go back! All right, I'm on the Come on, go for the stun! Did he die? Run away! Kick this monkey! Okay, let, let's try to use our skill. Oh my god, I don't really use my my che cheesy combos, but yeah. Like, there are so many skills related to uh, skill recharge rate, but like getting 20% chance to 100% recharge the skill, that's just, that's just so good. The game is not super well balanced. But it's fun as hell, and it's good. I like it. It's a good game. Like, it, it's, it doesn't really matter in the single player game. I can always just gimp myself if I really want to. And frankly, because modding is an option, maybe not, not as super supported, but like, it, it's an option. People can always just change it. Oh, boss! Did you see that? Yeah, I, I, I saw that. Holy shit! A huge monkey was running toward you to eat you, and you just—I <laughs> don't even know the name of the maneuver. Fuck me! You're crazy. More monkeys. Shit. Oh, I know what's gonna happen to that man here. No hard feelings, okay? <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, sure. Good stuff. Oh, what is this? UDL transformer? Oh, it's a terraformer, right? Oh, ter it's, it's, it was called terraformer. Yeah, terraformer. I called it transformer, but it's terraformer. How does this work? I don't think even the the game this makers know. We ain't dead. Now the pylons of the O2, this thing's cracking from the ice, will just drift off. Wonder what it'd take to knock this over. Would we wanna? 
Why would we want to knock it over? Silo is tiny. There's nothing here. I, I totally... Ex well, I'm, I'm, maybe I... I don't know. I, I, was, I was a little prepared for like a Monarch-like experience. That was big. Whoa! Oh, come back, monkey. I'm not for sure if I came here earlier. Uh, it would There wouldn't be too much point to it. Now, I kind of have quests for this area. But it's still... So, like, what... I almost expected it to like you no know, lead to like a massive underground something. Oh snap. Oh look at that. A lot of dead guys. Hearing their dev screams. Just be quiet, okay? Dev screams make me feel bad. Yep, that's me. No big deal. Just shrugging off my injuries as I stroll away from another flaming impact. Isn't isn't the guy we're looking for? Oh, it's great. Oh, Harlow is over there. Who the hell are you? Oh, yeah. I recall uh, uh, some kind of Captain Irian here. Yeah, it's a side quest. Patient, hair loss, reduced fertility due to tight trousers. Recommend stimulant injection. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was, readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. <laughs> dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Captain Erin, I take it. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? She did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. I'm taken. I let Wanda know her shipment's on the way. You ought to be thanking me. You're lucky you're alive. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. What? Report to Dr. Dorset on the Groundbreaker, I guess. <sighs> wow. Let's see what we got. Bring Felix to meet with Harlow. Also, we need to get the monkeys. Ah, uh, one more left. I wouldn't mind if the consumables had no weight. At least I, then that, I, then I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, just having a bunch of crap. Not like they are really worth anything. Oh, the monkey. Almost uh, went there to talk to it. Nobody messes with you, boss! Nice work! I'm not exactly sure how this works. Uh, how fast 
the slow time drains. <clears throat> so. I guess we're going toward Harlow. I know. I know the perfect thing when I start. Hey, Bob! Watch this! <laughs> Mega Primal. This! And he's dead. Nothing personal, I swear! Tosbok card, Tyson Christensen. Oh. Maybe Felix is gonna love this. This is kinda crap. I managed to get enough monkeys. We gotta talk to Nyoka. Yeah, and now only the the companion missions remain. And I, then after that, I have to go to Byzantium. I I didn't expect Scylla to be almost over. Just that I came here. Wow. So, this terraformer is like projecting a shield and it's trying to do something with the ground. I don't know! I don't know how this shit works. Actually, it's not projecting a shield. These these uh, generators are setting up the shield. But actually, it might be wrong. I don't know, it's not a bubble. This is just a, a shield. Uh, trying to keep out uh, wildlife, I suppose. Uh, very badly because monkeys were inside. I don't know. Just just guesses on my part. So apparently we're gonna talk to this guy. And did I just uh fuck me? Oh yeah, we gotta order the left. Oh shit. Look at this. Vending machines. Uh setting nothing. Okay. None of them are selling anything good. Well, okay then. Okay. Um, this is a good time to take a break before we just have a chat with uh, the guys on Scylla. And after that, I don't know if there's nothing else to do. We might just head to Byzantium. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.